Hey everybody, Troy here with Stan the Van. Hey, before I tell you about my latest thing that we've been doing with our van, I just wanna ask everybody to please subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, hit that bell for notifications for when I post new videos. Thanks to all the new subscribers. I'm amazed at how many people have jumped on board to follow our adventures. Today, I wanna to share with you a little um, hack that we do so that we can have stickers on our van. I really don't like to put stickers on and leave them there kind of permanently and it takes a lot to get them off. So I devised this uh, idea or thought or whatever with, to use magnets. So all of my stickers that you see on the van, and this is one of my other van lifers out there that we met, it's called Boomers on the Road, um, are stuck on the back of these little flexible magnets. You can buy that magnet material at Home Depot or uh, I've ordered some from Amazon. I got a big piece coming here pretty soon. It's not very expensive. And you can stick the sticker on there and you can cut it out with scissors and it's pretty cool. And then you can take them off. This is a big one that someone gave me. It's a PSA about wearing your seatbelt. That one I didn't make, it came that way. But if I wanted to, I could just stick stickers on it, cut it out with some scissors and use that. But I kind of like that one on there. All these stickers are uh, not actually stuck to the van. So you can go completely stealth by taking them all off, or you can uh, rearrange them whenever you want. These up here I had made uh, just to kind of promote the YouTube channel, Stay in the Van. Once again, hey, subscribe if you can. Hit the like button and uh, share it with your friends. And then ProMaster Van Adventures is a Facebook group. We're approaching 450 members in that group already. So check that out and uh, share your ideas with other ProMaster Van Adventurers. We have a meetup coming up in uh, August up in Fort Kent, Maine. That, that's promoted on there. Last time we got together, we had 12 vans show up, which was pretty cool. And everybody got to share their ideas and friendships were made. And uh, a few of those people are moderators for the group now too. So, hey, jump on board and uh, share what you do with your van. One more thing I'd like to share with you. I showed you the stickers on the back, how they're removable and they're, they're just magnets and we can go full stealth mode or we can have our stickers on there and share things. And it's, it's been really cool to have that. I've even had people wave at us on the side of the road and had one guy flag us down and we got to talk to him about the van and show him the inside of it. But one other thing we do is we have this board in the back of our van. And if you have a log book where you keep records of stuff, you know, it's called a log. And I jokingly call this board a log. It came from a tree. But this board is screwed in. It's a piece of nice pine wood. It was about 20 bucks at Home Depot. And we like to be able to uh, put badges on here or write things on here. These are those little national park badges, like for hiking sticks. And wherever we go, we buy one and we nail it on here. And our thought is if we ever get rid of the van or we have to get a new van or something happens to this one, we can take this board off and have it as a memory as a, we can have it framed and and document our travels with our van if you've watched the youtube channel you've probably seen where we had to have a new engine put in and that was a whole ordeal and, and it's pretty well documented out there but one thing that we did with the board and the engine and documenting that is we had our mechanic autograph our board his name is bob and uh, I said, dude, you got to sign the board here now because you're part of the history of the van. So forever, forever and ever, we'll have our, our badges and, and, and Bob's signature and whoever else we come up across as we travel. Canaveral National Seashore is right here. My wife's a park ranger there. So it's in the center. It's kind of our base of operations. And we travel around from there. The Hia Honda Appalachian Trail up at uh, Amicola Falls, Blue Ridge Parkway. And uh, I think that's all I have right now on here, but we've got plenty of room, uh, lots of travels ahead, Big Cypress, Sebastian Inlet, and Everglades National Park. So think about how you could uh, document your travels inside your van in a way that you can keep it uh, with you forever and ever. Some people stick stickers on the ceilings, the doors inside, but uh, we wanted to have something that was removable and we could forever remember our travels in the van. So here is Stan the Van's log. <laughs> 